You've got some very good people working on it. Um, Denzel Washington, Antoine Fuqua, Mauro Fiore, who have you know the, that triangle that did very well with Training Day. Um, I, as an actor, to work with Denzel is a great privilege and and was a great pleasure. And as I discovered, working with Antoine was uh, a real, a very enjoyable trip. And Mauro as well. Who I mean, it, it was all very friendly. You know, it was friendly. It was easy. It was, uh, and it's not always easy. And it's not always enjoyable, but um, I, uh, I ended up having a really good time. So I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to, to, uh, to be a part of it. You know, I'm, I was lucky as far as I'm concerned. To play this particular role, um, uh, I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to cast him in a typical mold. That was the challenge. How to how to do something different, how to hopefully do something new, or at least unique, my way. And uh, that was the pleasure of this, to go and do the research on psychopaths, sociopaths. There's a great many books being written on the subject, The Wisdom of Psychopaths, The Psychopath Test, uh, The Sociopath of the psych Psychopath Next Door, Without Conscience. These, these are very informative books, and I could bring a lot of that stuff to, a lot of the behavior and the psychology to, to the role, to Richard Wenk's text, which had lots of anchoring points, and Melissa Leo's character says, uh, he, my character Teddy is a, is a sociopath with a business card. So I really hooked into that one. And, um, and then I just messed with the text a lot and just tried to take it off, off, the, off the obvious. Um, and, and it ended up going into an interior world, a psychological world, um, primarily based on the behavior and, and thinking of, of a sociopath. That stillness seemed to me to work best for, to, to make the dialogue work that, and to get out of the way or, or, to, or to, it was a combination of getting out of the way and, and inhabiting at the same time. That, that was what was required. And as it happens, it is a sociopath's tendency to speak actually quite boringly. Um, Anthony Hopkins, in the research that I did, Anthony Hopkins does it the best. He, he's, he's a textbook sociopath. And um, this sort of monotone, I won't do it, this monotone sort of thing that goes on, it's quite hypnotic and it's quite attractive. And in certain co contexts, it's quite, and it, it can be charming. Um, and it's also a little bit, a little bit off-putting. Um, and so, so, yeah, I mean, sociopaths by definition will mimic whatever it is uh, that the person or the people or circumstance is, is, is best needing from them as they see it. And, uh, the whole world revolves around them, and I'm sure, we, I'm sure we can all relate to that. There's a little bit of sociopath in everybody. What I loved about Antoine is that we could sit and talk about things. Um, as is inevitable, you all come from different perspectives, so um, it would be a pretty boring time for everybody to sit down in a room and go, oh, yeah, I think this, yeah, yeah I think that too. Oh, where, you know, where do we go from here? So um, Antoine facilitates his very you know, strong, his strong opinions on things. I mean, sometimes he would come in and just go, no, you know, this is what I want him to wear. Uh, no, no, I definitely don't want that. I want this. And, um, but that comes uh, sort of at the end of, of a process whereby you sit and you talk and you offer up ideas. And, and what I loved about him was that he was not um, totalitarian, which is an easy habit to fall into and just a, a damning uh, approach for the, for the creative process. Um, he was honest, he wasn't manipulative. He just, we sat and we talked. And sometimes, um, and, and I empathized. He said, well, we'd be talking, and I don't say this to undermine him at all, because I hope it doesn't sound that way. He said, oh, you know, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. And you go, now there's, there's a friend, because I do the same. It's like, when you're seeking, you're trying to find it. You want to find the best. You don't, if we knew what the answer was, well, why bother to make the film? And he, he understands that, and he understands that every actor is different. And I saw him working with, um, with different people while I was on the set, and, and uh, and I complimented him on it because it's rare. You know, he treated different people differently. Actors are not all the same, and uh, and uh, he he understands that. So I had a good time with Antoine. I have a great respect for him.